Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to... Where are we going? Dusty Dune Galaxy, okay. Yeah, still doing post-commentary, unfortunately. A few more of those to come. And then we'll be back to live commentary. Which, I've already recorded many of those, so I can promise they will be up in a few weeks or so. But, um, second mission of Dusty Dune, I would say, is almost as fun as the first. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of planet hopping in this mission. So, again, you start out kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's just one head bouncing around and a skull sign. Oh, I didn't kill myself there this time. Now you have that ominous coin there. <laughs> and then, as soon as you touch it, you get attacked by five of these guys. Oh! <laughs> okay, so now this... I forgot what those things are called. Anyway, he pops up and starts following you, and you're like, what are you supposed to do? You actually have to wait for him to try to... Oh, wait. No, you don't. All right, I don't remember what to do, so this should be fun. <laughs> I mean, hey. I... Oh, how did I get hit there? Well, I presumably figure this out eventually. I did edit this video already, so... Um, I know it's not going to take forever. <laughs> but that was a while ago. Oh, thought I almost got killed there. Oh, he re-sprouts the whole package? <laughs> that sucks. Well, so much for not getting killed on the first planet. <laughs> I swear I like this galaxy. I just suck at it in this, <laughs> this recording for some reason. Alright, made quicker work of those guys. Let's see if that bodes well for this one. There's gotta be... Maybe you could just jump and spin. I think that's what I'm forgetting to do. But anyway, yeah. It sh even so, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I think you can just jump and spin and hit his head. In every other Mario game, that works anyway. It kills him instantly. All of his little pieces. And this is cool, because we got his little two-sided planetoid... We got a hungry Luma here. Only oh, needs 20. Oh, that's easy. I don't know why so little. So once again, we're going to feed him. So we create his planet, which is the hidden mission. We won't be going there just yet. So we got a uh, cool looking pyramid structure out there. A lot to explore here first. Yeah, this interesting little blank planet there. I want, or not planet, just a little round little uh, disc. A lot of these actually. So I wonder if there's something under them. Can't really see. Oh, now you can. <laughs> I forgot I did that. So yeah, there's something under all of them, I think. It's got a life mushroom under this one. Got a rainbow star under this one. Blow up these boulders, get tons of star bits. That hungry Luma should be asking for like... 70 probably could get here. Yeah, I almost have that already. A mildly hungry Luma. Maybe things got fast metabolism. Because it still gets really fat when you feed it only the 20 stars. Alright, so we take the sling stars off of this place. Oh, now this is an interesting little uh, area. 
Got these tubes of fast flowing sand. We gotta collect blue star chips as we float down these tubes. At first one they just give it to you to show you what you have to do. But now you gotta whoop yep. Oh, I already missed one. Alright, got it. If you miss one you can just go back for it at the end of the cycle. Oh, you're gonna spin the way over there. They probably don't expect you to do that, honestly. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, no going back for that one. Gotta get on that planet just right. Yeah, so I, the idea here is probably to take multiple paths anyway. Alright, now what do we need the shell for? Oh, we need it for a chest. There we go. Alright, four out of five on the first one. Well, really, three out of four on the first one was right at the start. Oh. There wasn't a blue star chip in the one I missed? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I'm curious here and I'm trying to figure out what exactly that was. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, maybe I missed something watching this. I'm gonna go back and rewatch this afterward. I thought I missed one there. Anyway. Uh, all these areas are so weird. I love it. <laughs> this place is like you can go either way and these platforms are moving against you. You gotta get to, uh, what is there, a pipe on the, other, on the end of this place or something? Um, I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, trying to run into that cactus or something? <laughs> yeah, you can't ground pound these things. Above, You're gonna try it up. I'm not gonna get it in my. <laughs> okay. A lot of starbits in this mission. Up to almost a hundred already. It's a lot of starbits in a lot of missions. So those hungry lumas. What have they already been asking for back in the observatory? Like thousand plus so a lot more than 20 that's for sure all right so yeah you can go that way and you see how that gets you to the uh, the launch star not a pipe <laughs> and uh, this way is the same thing except perhaps a little bit easier but you don't want to get hit by these these heat tubes or they're actually electrical tubes you get a lot of coins here so this part isn't too hard, just to be a little annoying because things are moving against you pretty fast. Oh, there is a pipe. I knew I remembered a pipe. Okay, so never mind. They don't both go to the launch star. This one takes you to a hidden area. And we get our little musical notes. Four one up. Two of three one ups. Wow. Oops. Oh no. Okay. And what am I doing? Let's get out of here. There it is. Pipes on the top. And it's a cool underground area. Oh, okay. No, it is the same as the launch star because it takes you to the next area. Um. Oh, right. I entered on the bottom. I think. Anyway, come on. Let's go. <laughs> all right. This area might be the weirdest of them all. So you're just standing here like, what is this, uh... Come on, we don't have to stand here for that long. What is this tubular area? Tubular? Is that a word? I think it is, but I'm not sure that makes sense in this context. Anyway. Oh, that's right. I, I, was, I was actually really confused by this part. 
I think I kind of understand it now. I'm just like, what? Okay, so these guys are like mini tornadoes. And then you got the, like spinning with junk in them. And you got moving red plot. Yeah, this area here. I don't know, were they like high when they made this? It's like. It's like a maze, or I feel like. Maybe they were like inspired by Inception or something. <laughs> like. We gotta make this crazy maze. Oh no, it's Bowser making it. So he was like. Ah, a maze that Mario will never get through. Okay, I'm still confused by this. Okay, so they put the power star up there. You see it out in the distance. And... They give you, like, no indication of how to get to it. Am I gonna try long jumping? Please don't try long jumping. You're not gonna make it. Yeah, you can't long jump. <laughs> and even if you could, that wouldn't be the way that they would expect you to do it, obviously. That's the nice thing about this game, and, and most Nintendo platformers in general. There's... Oh. <laughs> that is not what I was referring to as a nice thing. Bad camera angles. No. Bad camera angles are not a nice thing. What I was referring to is that there are generally no, like... There's no... There are very few times where they expect you to figure out some cheap trick as to how to solve something. Actually, can you backflip up to this power star? So again, there might be things like that. I don't think you can, but triple drop maybe. I'm trying it. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm, no, I'm not actually going to do it. Because I know this video is longer than that. But, um... That triple jump might work. Anyway, in general, there are sometimes tricks that work, but they're never the only way or the expected way necessarily to solve these these missions. So there's always a, quote, real way of doing it. Yeah, I think you just have to make your way across this area. It might actually be as as, as seemingly simple as that. Um, let's see if I can do that. Uh, first, I gotta get on top of the swamp. Get the one up up here. Probably so I can kill myself again. <laughs> Alright. Have I been over here yet? I don't... Oh, yes, I have. Damn it. Alright, so you gotta actually study this place. It's actually similar to those, um, those, uh, whatever that thing was called, the drill item in Galaxy 2. A lot of those missions where you gotta study, like, how to get to the other side from a certain point in the ground. So, you gotta, oh, you gotta hit that sw oh, right, okay. I love how I've played this mission three times and I still can't remember what to do. <laughs> Oh, another one up. Wow, they really expect you to kill yourself a lot here, don't they? Well, I've already done that once. Ugh. Almost did it a second time there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to kill myself again. I can feel it coming. Okay, now I'm back here. Alright, this, no, this is actually pretty complicated. There's like six different... There's like three different areas on, on both sides. But yeah, I'm really stuck right now, aren't I? Just gotta get over to that switch. Where's the switch? Oh, it's through this side. Okay. Haven't been this way yet. So naturally, that means I kill myself the minute I discover what to do. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, to be honest, I actually remember that I killed myself one more time. I just didn't quite remember where. So I was looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm such a masochist. This video might actually be better with post-commentary, because I think I was pretty pissed when I did that. <laughs> Going for it again? Okay, that I didn't remember. <laughs> how much longer is this video? Jeez, how am I going to keep killing myself? Oh, okay. We're almost done. So, I'm probably going to get it here. These guys have like boulders spinning in them. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those. Alright, this is supposed to be the hard part, I think, is like getting the switch. And I'm probably gonna get this on the first try. So you ground pound this, and you're gonna run back to the other side. I just realized this is probably the exact level that inspired the drill item in Galaxy 2, because you're basically doing the same thing. You're pushing the platform onto the other side, and just instead of pushing Mario onto the other side. Camera angles can be deceptive there. There's no platforms um, where you can't see. It's just death. Death by quicksand. Right, so you actually have plenty of time. The timer, if you can hear that, it's not even ticking that fast. Now, come on. Don't screw it up now. Okay. Yeah, all right. That part's not that hard. You get plenty of time for that. Yeah, really, you just got to figure out what to do. It's kind of true for that whole mission, but it's fun because there's not a ton of that in this game. Like, sort of planet hopping slash puzzle solving. Alright, getting the starboard count back up. That's going to be it for Dusty Dune for now, because we have discovered the enemy base. And that is going to be in the next video. We are going to be taking on Bowser for the second time. It's going to be a lot harder this time. And the path to him will also be a lot harder and more interesting. It's a pretty epic mission, I would say. Just in, in scope and some really interesting concepts, too. So, I'm going to go uh, do the commentary on that right now. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, am I going to unlock it? Yeah, I'm going to unlock it. So, here's what it is. Oh, this dark matter plant. Dark matter is a very interesting astronomical concept. You should all look into it. Not quite sure they use it accurately in this game. But anyway, that'll be in the next video.